This video is brought to you by Safety Wing. Hi everyone, it's Vân Vũ from Vietnam. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, hi, I'm Vân, I'm Vietnamese, and I love sharing about Vietnamese food, culture, and travel tips. Today, I'm gonna share with you everything that you need to know before traveling to Vietnam. Literally everything, because I've been doing it for three years now. I know this video is gonna be long, but watch until the end because you're gonna save so much time, energy, and money. So without further ado, let's get started. So you can travel to Vietnam all year round. In my personal opinion, the best time to travel is from November to April when the weather is pleasant. I suggest you avoid traveling during Vietnamese holidays because the tickets are expensive and you might have to deal with unwanted crowd. In terms of weather, the country's weather can vary by region. If you plan on traveling up north, such as Hanoi, Hà Giang, Hạ Long, Ninh Bình, Mai Châu, and Sapa, the best time to travel is from January to May and August to December. Especially if you want to experience the famous Hà Long cruise, May would be the best month to go because it's warm and it has less rainfall. If you plan on traveling to central regions such as Huế, Đà Nẵng, Hội An, Đà Lạt, Nha Trang, and Phong Nha, the best time to travel is from December to September when the weather is generally warm and dry. Especially in March, you can see the old town in Hội An covered in bougainvillea flowers. Hoa Giấy is so beautiful. And fun fact, I bought this outfit from Hoi An and yellow is actually Hoi An's signature color. Last but not least, if you plan on traveling to Ho Chi Minh City or Phu Quoc, which are located in the southern part of Vietnam, remember to travel during their dry season, which is from November to April. Besides the weather, I have listed all the recommended travel destinations by month in my ebook. You should definitely check it out in the description box below. So if you are a citizen of 25 countries that are exempted from a visa, congratulations, you are eligible to stay in Vietnam from 14 to 90 days. I'm gonna leave the full list of visa-free countries down below. However, if your country is not on the visa exemption list, you will need to obtain a visa to enter Vietnam. The most common and easiest way to apply for a visa to enter Vietnam is through e-visa. And the good news is, Vietnam grants e-visas for citizens of all countries and territories with a 90 day stay duration and valid for multiple entries. That's the good news because if you are retired and you want to sit at the beach in Vietnam, you can stay in Vietnam for 3 months now. Or also if you are a digital nomad or overseas Vietnamese who want to work remotely or want to see your family longer, now you can extend your stay. Also, e-visa holders can enter and exit Vietnam through 42 international checkpoints, including the airports, seaports, and land ports. Here are the steps to apply for Vietnam e-visa. Step 1. Access Vietnam's e-visa application website. Step 2. Upload images of your passport's data page and passport photo. Step 3. Enter passport data into the required fields. Step 4. Fill up all required information regarding your trip. Step 5. Pay the e-visa fee. It's 25 US dollars for a single entry and 50 US dollars for multiple entry. Step 6. Receive and save your registration code. The processing time is 3 business days and if you have any questions, you can contact the Vietnam Immigration Department. I'm gonna leave their contact and useful link down below. The other ways to apply for a visa is at the Vietnam Embassy in your country or applying for the visa on arrival for which you need an approval letter and your visa will be issued at the airport when you arrive in Vietnam. So when I first returned to Vietnam from the US 3 years ago, I regretted not taking typhoid pills and as a result, my body was fighting hard to adapt to a new environment. So I highly recommend you take typhoid pills before traveling to Vietnam. I heard some of my foreign friends said that they took hepatitis and diphtheria shots before coming to Vietnam as well. Rabies and Japanese encephalitis vaccines can be advised 
but the risk of contracting these diseases is very small, so most travelers do not get them. Before traveling to Vietnam or around Southeast Asia, I would recommend you getting yourself covered with some basic emergency medical travel insurance. You can check out Safety Wing, whose affordable policies can keep you safe in the case of emergencies. Their policies allow you to be admitted to any hospital and don't dictate where you have to be treated. And also, if you're traveling with children, I know that children who are of a certain age can be included in your insurance without added cost. I would advise you to always read the policy documents carefully and look into what is covered. And also, if you have any question, Safety Wing web chat will allow you to talk with an actual human within one minute, 24 seven on their website. What I love the most about Safety Wing's Nomad insurance is that it's very affordable starting from just over $45 per month and is flexible allowing you to start and stop anytime. They also recently just launched their fully comprehensive health insurance product called Nomad Health. I'm gonna leave the link to their website on the comment below so you can check it out. And also, if you purchase their insurance through my link, you can help support creators like me. To get covered on your trip, follow the link in the description box below. It only takes you five minutes. Many people ask me how many days they should stay in Vietnam and where to visit. So I suggest you spend at least 10 days to travel from north to south or from south to north of Vietnam. You can experience beautiful mountainous scenery, magnificent beaches, enjoy local food and historical landmarks, and immerse in the culture. I'm actually hosting a tour at the beginning of next year, and I'm gonna take you to explore hidden alleys in Hanoi Old Quarters, teach you how to make egg coffee, help you discover ethnic culture, and also show you the nightlife of bustling Ho Chi Minh City. There will be limited spots, and you can start signing up on my website right now before it's closed. There are three main ways to get to Vietnam, by plane, by train or bus, or by boat. For flights, you can book through Google Flights, Booking.com, or Skyscanner. You can also book straight from Vietnam Airlines, since Vietnam also operates direct flights from Europe, Australia, and Asia. Remember to book your flights on Tuesday or Wednesday to get lower ticket prices and also avoid peak summer time or major Vietnamese holidays such as Vietnamese Lunar New Year date, National Day, Labor Day because the ticket prices can be very very expensive and book at least 45 days before your departure. By train, Vietnam currently allows tourists to enter through its international land border gates from three countries, China, Cambodia, and Laos. It is important to note that visas must be obtained prior to arrival as they can't be issued at the border gate. By boat, cruise tours can only be booked from Thailand and Singapore. And please note that not all the waterway border gates allow access to Vietnam. Since Vietnam is a tropical country, I highly recommend you bring breathable clothes such as cotton shirts, tank tops, shorts, flip-flops or sandals, quick dry socks, and comfortable shoes because you gotta have to walk a lot. Also, don't forget to bring your sunscreen and mosquito repellent if you don't want to become a bumpy lobster when traveling in the summer. If you have a plan to travel to mountainous areas up north of Vietnam, you should bring your warm clothes such as coats, beanies, gloves, hats, bring everything that can keep you warm. Trust me, I'm not even joking. I had lived in Michigan for seven years and Vietnam winter is bloody cold. Can you believe this tropical country has snow in some areas? Just in case you forget your coats, don't worry because there are plenty of places in Vietnam sell warm clothes with affordable prices. Also, remember to bring shirts that cover your shoulders, uh, pants or dresses that cover your knees if you plan on visiting sacred places such as mausoleums, temples or pagodas in Vietnam. In fact, many Vietnamese restrooms don't have toilet papers, so I highly recommend you to bring toilet papers or tissues, wet wipes, and hand sanitizer just in case of some emergencies. Most Vietnamese electrical outlets use plugs type A, flat two-prong pins. 
C, round two prong pins, and D, three prong pins. The standard voltage is 220 volt. So if you don't have those, make sure you bring your travel adapter or you can get it here in Vietnam. I'll leave the full list of what you should pack before traveling to Vietnam in my ebook and I'm gonna leave the link down below. You might wonder, how much should I bring, where to exchange the money, or how to pay in Vietnam? All right, let me help you. So one US dollars roughly equals 24,000 Vietnam dong. For a low budget, you can expect to spend from 15 to $50 per day. For a mid-range budget, you can expect to spend 50 to 150 US dollars per day. And for luxury travel, it can be $200 or up per person per day. There are few options for exchanging money from your country's currency to Vietnam dong in Vietnam at the airport currency exchange counters, jewelry shops, or banks. If you need to go to the bank, keep in mind that Vietnamese people take nap, and bank will be on their lunch break from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Siesta first! Also, ATMs can be very easy to find in larger cities in Vietnam, such as Hanoi, Da Nang, or Ho Chi Minh City. International travel cards such as Revolut or Monzo are very easy to use and are advisable to bring to Vietnam for stress-free cash withdrawal. It's always good to carry some cash on you if you visit some food stalls, restaurants, or have to get a taxi that only accept cash or bank transfers in Vietnam. Be aware to use smaller notes for smaller transactions Many street vendors and taxi drivers don't carry change for larger notes, so be patient and kind with them. When you pay in Vietnam Dong, make sure that you're not confused between 500,000 Vietnam Dong with 20,000 Vietnam Dong because they have similar color. If you need to break your large note, you can always buy snacks from Circle K or Family Mart. Also, when you go to a restaurant, tipping is not mandatory in Vietnam, but it's greatly appreciated. There are plenty of options to get around Vietnam. From the airport to the city, you can see many taxi stands outside all airport arrival terminals. Make sure that you use reputable taxi companies such as MyLink or Vinasan to avoid scams. For cheaper options, you can book hailing services such as B, Gojack, or Grab. I personally use B because I want to support the Vietnam company and also they have a lot of discounts. Here are the detailed instructions to walk to the pickup location from the airport. In the cities, you can continue using the hailing services that I mentioned above or you can book the VinFast electric taxis or motorbikes. Simply download the taxi sign SM or you can call them. Most of VinFast drivers know English and I had a great experience riding it and saving the earth. You can also explore the city by public buses or hop on hop off bus tours. And in the historical cities like Hanoi, Hue or Hoi An, you can enjoy the sightseeing and also immerse in the Vietnamese traffic. Make sure that you bargain the price with the waiting time or have someone or your hotel receptionist book cycles for you so you don't get overcharged. To travel from city to city, I highly recommend booking a sleeper bus which is more affordable and convenient. Train is another alternative option that you can see the beautiful scenery along the way and have unique experience. However, if you are a light sleeper like me, it's gonna be pretty hard to sleep. You can book both buses and trains through balo.com or booking.com. Another option is to book domestic flights such as Vietnam Airlines, Bamboo, Vietjet, Pacific Airlines and make sure that cheaper flights will be likely delayed or they have higher service fees and they're not very flexible with your overweight luggages. If you want to go to Ha Giang Loop and experience Vietnam just like a local, you can rent a motorbike. Prices depend on the quality of the bike, ranging from 150,000 Vietnam Dong to 300,000 Vietnam Dong per day for scooters or mopeds. You can expect to leave a deposit or your passport if you want to rent a bike more than a week. When in Vietnam, never park your motorbike unattended, always wear a helmet, and also check your vehicle thoroughly before renting it to avoid scam. Watch this video above to avoid scams in Vietnam. 
And here are all the apps that you should download before traveling to Vietnam. Language barrier can be quite a challenge here in Vietnam. And here are five survival phrases you need to know before traveling here. To say hello, you say xin chào. To say thank you, you say cảm ơn. To say how much is this, you say bao nhiêu tiền. To say where's the restroom, you say nhà vệ sinh ở đâu. Nhà vệ sinh ở đâu? And if you want to cash out after the meal, you can say tính tiền. Em ơi, tính tiền. If you want to get the waiter's attention, you would call em ơi and then tính tiền. That means cash out. Even though Wi-Fi is available everywhere in Vietnam and is super fast, but you need a SIM card to stay connected in Vietnam. Make sure your phone is unlocked and has the SIM card slot so you can put the SIM in and use it while in Vietnam. Don't forget to check your international roaming because if you accidentally use it overseas, it can cost you a fortune. The easiest way to buy a SIM card is at one of the SIM kiosks at the airport and you can also pre-order your SIM card on Kaluk and pick it up at the airport as well. The most popular service providers here in Vietnam are Viettel and Mobifone that have strong cellular networks just in case you have to drive up north area of Vietnam which usually have very weak signals. Prepaid SIM cards can cost around $6 for 3 gigabytes of data and it can be good for seven days of usage. Not sure if you run out of data? You can dial star 101 pal to check your balance. If you need to top up your SIM card, you can always stop by a Viettel store, mobile phone store, or any convenience store such as Circle K, Mini Stop, Family Mart, etc. Four or five star hotels are always the safest way to go if you're not on a tight budget. They can range from $50 to $200 per night and it has all the amenities that you need such as security, clean and spacious bedroom, pools, gyms, you name it. Another three star option that I highly recommend is homestay. It's the form of accommodation that you're gonna stay with ethnic people, very popular in the north of Vietnam. You will stay in a bamboo house, sleep on the wooden bed with warm blankets, has a view of rice fields, and you'll have a chance to participate in cultural activities. It's a great way to support the community-based tourism, protect the environment, and also help boost the minority group's economy. If you want more privacy with an affordable price, you can book a private room or the whole villas on Airbnb. Last but not least, if you're looking for a social backpacker vibe and budget-friendly stay, you can also check out many hostels here in Vietnam and you can book through hostelworld.com. Since hostels are communal accommodations, you should be cautious about your belonging, watch out for scams, and manage your expectations. If you travel to the north of Vietnam, I recommend you try bún chả, caramelized grilled pork noodles, bún riêu, crab noodle soup, phở gà, chicken phở, soy xéo, savory sticky rice with mung beans, and cà phê trứng, egg coffee. If you travel to the central, I suggest you try bánh giam ít, fried sticky rice dumplings, bánh bột lọc, shrimp tapioca cakes, bánh nậm, minced pork and shrimp cake, bún bò huế, lemongrass beef noodle soup, mì quảng, so good that I can't translate it to English, and cao lầu, literally translate to high floor dish. If you travel to the south, I suggest you try gum tấm, broken rice with grilled pork, hủ tiếu, Vietnamese pork and shrimp noodle soup, mì Việt tiềm, braised duck with egg noodle soup, bánh xèo, sizzling rice cakes, and vú dê nướng, grilled goat's breast. I have handpicked recommended restaurants and things to do for 18 provinces in Vietnam in my ebook. You can easily find the ingredients of those dishes, the exact locations, and also my personal tips and recommendation. To buy the ebook, you can check out the link below. My top 5 Vietnamese souvenirs that you should buy for your loved ones Vietnamese chopsticks, Vietnamese coffee, 
rice wine, 3D cards, and handcrafted souvenirs. Five things that you should do. Get out of your comfort zone, try new things. Start with a smile. Take off your shoes when entering someone's house. Respect the elders by bowing and giving things with two hands. Protect your belongings. Five things you shouldn't do. Don't drink tap water. Don't stop or run while crossing the road. Don't be offended when people honk. They just want to signal you that they're coming and you should watch out. Don't disrespect national heroes. It's a taboo here in Vietnam. Don't be offended when people laugh at your broken Vietnamese. They don't laugh at you, they laugh with you. Vietnam is such a cool country for family, friends, couples, and even solo travelers to explore. If you want to know more about where to eat, what to do, and where to stay, don't forget to purchase my Ultimate Vietnam Guide ebook. And if you don't know where to start and want to travel with a local like me, book a tour and don't forget to buy your entrance before traveling to Vietnam. I hope this video is helpful for you and if it is, please share it to your friends who plan on traveling to Vietnam soon. I can't wait to see you here in Vietnam. Thank you so much for watching until the end and bye!